Hello and welcome back to Grim Survival, or in other words, howdy y'all. Right? Right. Gotta love this hat. Anyway, I'm gonna be doing a product review today. I really am. I don't do these very often, but I really like this thing. This is what I'm gonna be reviewing. But first, but first, Tuesday, I'm gonna tell you the date because I'm gonna click the button and make you listen to it. Tuesday the 17th at 8 p.m. Alaska Prepper is gonna be right here on Grim Survival Live. We're gonna try this again. For all of you that tried to watch this yesterday, well, the day before, this is going up on the 13th. Yeah, it was rather disappointing for all of us. YouTube has, you know, it's censorship. That's That's really what it is, it has to be. So, that being said, I have made a BitChute account as per recommendations, and I was looking for other platforms to do, and a lot of people recommended BitChute, and then also today i seen that Angry Prepper has created a BitChute account. I also know that Ice Age Farmer is on the platform also, so now you will be able to find Grim Survival on a second platform called BitChute. I'm going to post a link for that in the description. It's going to be permanently there under the Find Me category I have in my description. If you uh, click the drop down, you'll see all the links I post, including Find Me, which is under there you'll find uh, it, my emails there I have a PO box there and uh, I guess my Facebook and Twitter and things like that are on there also um, yeah I don't really pay attention to Twitter or Instagram all that much I do occasionally I don't really post on them much but yeah mostly I post things on the Facebook page and in the Facebook private group so if you're looking for notifications Facebook's probably the best way to get it but every video I intend now to upload to both platforms I'm going to upload all the videos to YouTube and to BitChute so check me out over there if you want and if you can't find me on YouTube for some reason you never know then yeah you'll find me over there hopefully Hopefully they don't become like YouTube and censor us also. So we'll see. We'll see. All right. That being said, this is enough yapping. Let's uh, show you this product over here that I'm going to uh, show you what it does. This thing's really cool. I really like it. So, all right. See you in a second. All right. Welcome back. What you are looking at is essentially a Ziploc bag, right? It looks just like any standard Ziploc bag. I can tell you it's a lot thicker than a Ziploc bag. Here it has an air valve, and that's what this is for. Now what these are, are vacuum sealed bags. You can vacuum seal anything in these reusable bags, and then you use this to suck the air out of it. And this is a, a reverse pump. It pumps air out. It's really weird if you put your finger there and, and pull on it, it's weird. So I'm gonna demonstrate how these work, tell you what I think about them. I'm going to be putting some uh, older coffee that I had in the freezer into this bag just for storage purposes. I don't really like this coffee that much, especially after a, a subscriber had sent me some really good coffee. So, but yeah, it, it, it's a prep, right? So I'm not gonna throw it away. I've been keeping it in the freezer and I've been sitting here breaking it up. Yeah, that's loud. Trying to get it to where I can pour it in this bag. So. Um, this is a smaller size of the bag. I have a lot of them. I got 20 pack. I will show you where to get them from. They have the bigger ones. I'm not sure if you can see how big that is, but yeah. Then they come in several different sizes. And I'll just, yeah, try not to dump them all over my floor and get them out of my way. So these are reusable, so they are washable. Now they're not dishwasher safe, but if you put food in there, you can fill them up with water wash them out just like anything else you would do with a uh, with your dishes and things like that and i can tell you they feel like the vacuum seal bags you get for the seal -a meal or the food savers they feel just like that type of a bag but it has a really good zip on the top of it and i'm going to show you some of these other things to use here and how this works i have not actually done this before i watched it done but i did not do it so yeah i'm going to this is gonna be a, a first for me and for you, right? So, first, this is, like I said, this is about a half a bag of, well, there, there, make it. And then this is about a half a bag of coffee. This is just what was left, that I had left over from, just before the subscriber had sent me the good coffee, and I just tossed this bag in the freezer inside of a regular Ziploc bag. And now I'm going to uh, put it into this vacuum seal bag. I'm going to vacuum seal it and I'm debating on whether I'm going to put it back in the freezer because the point of coffee is when you freeze coffee so the oils 
don't dry up in it and but if there's no air in the bag i don't think that would be a problem so i'm really debating on whether i'm going to put it back in the freezer or not but these are freezer safe bags these are great if you have meat like a steak or something like that you put it in here and you suck the air out of it and it can't get the the frostbite all over it like you see or freezer burnt like you see commonly with meats that are in their standard packaging so let's be loud here this is probably going to be loud on the microphone i hope this bag's big enough for this coffee it should be and yeah yeah that's plenty of room i could have probably used a smaller one i'm not sure if i actually have a smaller one i'd have to check this possibly is the smallest bag it, it does seem to fit per rather perfectly in there anyway so yeah so there's coffee in a bag obviously and just like any normal ziploc you're gonna do the thing here I, i'm gonna push some of the air out anyway because that's what i do with ziplocs and then it has these little weird things here this is actually to seal it properly you put it it has a i want to see if i can show you this because i can't see very well it has these little grooves there and you get the the zipper part right in between the groove and then you pinch it down well, if i can get it on the groove and slide it across and it will ensure oh it fell off there yeah when i watched the person do this they made it look a lot easier so anyway it's going to ensure that the bag is sealed properly now you're going to take these little green clips that it came with and you're going to put all three of them on your bag right on the seal and this is just to keep it from popping open while you're doing the hard part here now i'm going to try it says don't fill beyond that line so i'm trying to keep the coffee beans from coming up too far now, all you do now is stick this perfectly on this little air bag, air valve, push it down tightly and snugly and pump. Although I think the way I got it set, there's like, it's not letting the air get over there. So I might need to put something under this. Like I said, I've never done this before. I watched it done. So I'm trying to figure out how to do this with out, you know, with, where the air can still get sucked out from over there. So it's kind of a weird thing. Yeah, see, it's not creating a, a seal right there, so let's see. Maybe you don't have to push down that hard. Okay, yeah. It sucks the air valve up into the thing is what it does. So, yeah, that's really weird. Now, when I did watch this done, you have to put it on there rather perfectly, so. And... It didn't take that long so but there, we did do it a couple of times when i was watching just to make sure just to get a feel for it because it is like a tricky little thing here this is not an easy task hopefully i get it done on this first take and i don't have to re-record re this video several times there it goes it's sucking it down now i hope you can see the I'm gonna to try to move it out here so you can see better. Yeah, it's definitely pulling all the air out of there. I hope you can see that. Yep. Yeah. I'm not hearing any more air come out of the pump. And look at that. That is perfectly vacuum sealed. That's snug. You've seen how loose the coffee beans were beforehand, right? And now look, it is it is sealed. It's solid. So that's that's how that works. Now these, like I said, come in multiple different sizes. This is the larger size. This is the one I just put the half a bag of coffee in. I believe there's a medium size in here also, if I remember correctly. I got them all tossed in this little tote here, so I, they're not organized very well. I'm not the most organized person on the planet, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, here we go, medium size, I found them. So yeah, it came with three different sizes in this pack. We have the large, we have the medium, and then we have the small. All right, let me set up the camera and tell you more about this thing. All right, welcome back. What we are looking out here now is actually my store that I helped build in part. I did not add all of these items to the store. A third party helped me with this, so we'll leave it at that. So if things on here aren't uh, completely up to spec, that's not completely my fault, so don't fault me for it, please. All right, I left the URL up here in the corner so you can see it. GrimSurvival.store, that is the URL. 
so yeah that's how you find it grim survival gear is what i called it and and this store has been up for quite a long time so what we're looking at here are the 20 pack these are the vacuum sealed bags this price right here is uh not completely accurate because when you go into it there's several different or there's two different you got the 17 piece which it gives you what's all in there what i was showing you was the 20 piece and it does come with everything you see there bpa free 100 percent um three different sizes bag, three different size bags it's giving you in centimeters because the bag ship from overseas um yeah i really should have added more to the description about how this works i really should have but i didn't so yeah uh 17 piece kit now I'm really not sure if the 17 piece kit comes with everything you see in the original picture just because it's not showing it so that's questionable it should come with the pump but it's questionable refunds are really easy and exchanges are re really easy on the store um, there's a lot of payment options on here you can buy with Google Pay I will go into the more payment options just so you can see really quickly because this is a plug for my store. So up here you can see you can check out with Amazon, PayPal, Google Pay, and Shop Pay. Shop Pay is actually from Shopify where the store is listed. So that is a you know quick and easy payment options if you are interested. All right, guys, I am back here sitting at the desk. That's really cool. I mean, look at that. That is vacuum sealed, just like it would be if you used a seal -a meal a, a food saver, or one of the electric vacuum, vacuum seal machines. Words. Yeah. And all I did was use this little pump. I mean, this pump is plastic. I, I got to say it's plastic. So I'm kind of curious if I can find a pump that would do the same that's a little better quality. But for what it is... And for twenty dollars, getting a, you know the twenty-piece kit and all the bags that come with it, I mean, it came with a lot of bags. And I'm still got. I mean, it came with a lot of bags. <laughs> There's still more sitting on my desk, like I said. So yeah, they are BPA-free. They are reusable. You can't, you put, cannot put them in your dishwasher, but you could open it up. And you could rinse it out with hot water. You could wipe it out with soapy water if you use soap and things like that. But yeah, vacuum seal, that's a solid block. That's just, yeah, very useful. So let's talk about other uses other than food. I mean, uses for vacuum sealing things. We're preppers. We vacuum seal everything, don't we? I mean, here, I got my EDC for you. And there's a lot of talk about Bic lighters, how they lose their, their you know, their fluid over time. And you can hold them up to a light. And I've seen an Alaska Prepper, he did, he pulled some lighters out of a box that had been sitting there for like five or six years or something like that. And it still had butane in there. I mean, we didn't get to see how much was in there. And I don't know how much is in this thing. But if you hold a light up to these things, you can see it. But yeah, after a while... I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. Oh, the camera's over there. So after, oh, there it is. Yeah, there's fluid in there. But after a while, it said that uh, fluid will evaporate out of here, but it won't evaporate if you vacuum seal these things. So why do this instead of, of, of you know, a vacuum seal food saver type machine? Have you seen how much those things are? I mean, these food saver machines are, what, $100 or more? I have one. I, I do. I think mine is a... Uh, Oh, I forget what brand it is. I think it's a Ziploc brand, actually. Yeah, a Ziploc brand vacuum sealer thing that my wife uses. So, yeah, this, $20, you get the pump, you get all these bags. Uses for vacuum sealing things. You can vacuum seal pretty much anything to preserve it. Anything. Um, food, obviously, but I'm just, you know, Bic lighters. You could put... Just whatever you vacuum seal. I'm sure, I'm sure I could find some bigger bags for this and maybe a bigger pump and vacuum seal things like your blankets and pillows. You could vacuum seal toilet paper. Vacuum sealing preserves stuff. It preserves it for a lot longer than it normally would because there's no air in there. And the air is what, you know, diminishes your quality of pretty much everything. It dries out things. It air, you know lets things grow such as bacteria and whatnot and in an oxygen free environment there's no air in there so another very good use especially for me and what i'm going to use it for next i'm not going to bother with the videos i'm going to put my extra once i open them up i'm going to put my extra uh 
oxygen absorbers in those. I'm going to put oxygen absorbers in there and suck the air out. Now, obviously, with all the oxygen absorbers in there, it's going to suck the air out itself, but it's still, if I suck the air out before, it'll prolong the life of my oxygen absorber. So it's really beneficial, especially if you live in uh, off grid. If you are an off grid person, you live off grid, this would be very beneficial to save your electricity. If grid goes down, this would be very beneficial to preserve things you you catch or kill or whatever. If you hunt fish, even your garden vegetables, you'll be able to vacuum seal these with no electricity and just a little pump like this. Then this is a really simple pump. I mean, a rubber washer and a tube you could make one of these yourself you really could and it's really weird you put the thing there you put your finger there and yeah it doesn't push air back in so i got to figure out how it doesn't push air back in i think i really like to take one of these apart and figure out how it does the reverse type thing it, it actually does you can you see this you can pull this thing off here this is just the end and then you can look in there and and yeah i'm gonna have to figure it out because i'm very curious but yeah it, it's a very simple very simple thing and simple things are good because they're less prone for malfunctions right all right i'm going to quit talking about this i really like this that's really cool and look at that i mean it's just it's vacuum sealed so i have more videos to come i've had these things for a while these are my ceramic water filters that a subscriber has gotten for me I actually have four of those things now, but I forgot to get the spigots and the parts that I needed to put the the water filter together. So I'm going to build a, 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 a essentially a Berkey water filter out of two five gallon buckets, and I'm going to post a video for that as soon as I get the extra parts I need. So that's going to be you know a few more days at least. Um, yeah, uh, the extra parts. Uh, also, I got my axe handle. I still needed a couple extra things for that before I could actually assemble the axe. I had to get some wedges and I had to get a couple other things. I'm concerned with the axe because where you put the handle in, it's kind of deformed right there a little bit. So I'm concerned with, you know, if it's going to be snug or not. But we're going to find out together. I've never put an axe handle on an axe before. I've done other things. But yeah, we'll find out together. Uh, just a little bit about the store. I really haven't advertised it. It took three weeks for these things to get here. It's going to take about three to four days to actually process it. So you're looking about a month tops. Took, took them about three weeks to get to me. I ordered them with a separate account as if I was a customer at my own store just to test that out. There's other products on my store that I really want to acquire so I can do reviews of them to make sure they're up to my quality standards because not everything on there probably is. And like I said, I cannot vouch for all of these products. These are not my products. These are drop shipping products. So yeah, if you want to support my channel, you could definitely order from my store. It would help me out. It would also get you items that, like this one, are actually very useful. So I would greatly appreciate it. And I will have the link for that particular product in the description. It'll be the first link in the description. And I have other links there too if you want to help support the channel. So you can support yourself. That's what Canadian Prepper used to say. Support yourself by, by supporting me or support me and support yourself. I don't remember what he said. It was some kind of marketing scheme thing bs you know how people are anyway i i really don't i i can't vouch for every product on that store i can't that's why i really haven't advertised it a, a lot but this is one thing i will vouch for because that's really cool i really like this maybe i should send some to alaska prepper see if he gives me a review on that that would be awesome right yeah that's a good idea that's that's marketing right there send them to your friends that have lots more subscribers than you all right this has been james with grim survival i appreciate you watching this uh long spiel about why i man that's just really cool i really like that so yeah i got a block of coffee over here all right let me know should i still put it in the freezer just to test it, make sure it doesn't get freezer burnt or anything. I mean, it wasn't freezer burnt anyway. I had it in a regular Ziploc. I don't really think it needs to be frozen now that it's vacuum sealed. I mean, look at that. That's solid. You can see that, right? It looks kind of weird. Doesn't that look weird? Coffee in a vacuum bag? That's weird. Coffee beans is what those are. So, all right. I'm, I'm really going to shut up now. Thank you guys for watching. James with Grim Survival, and I'll see you next time.